A few days ago, I had a video featuring this Hamfest find. It turned out to be, mounted in the one box, a 6 meter CW transmitter and a receiving converter that converted 50 megahertz down to 28 megahertz. The transmitter put out around half a watt. As I got it, the transmitter actually transmitted a little bit outside the 6 meter band. But luckily I had another crystal and was able to get it above 50 megahertz. Then I had a functional transmitter. But what would you do with it? 6 meters CW is pretty much a band and mode combination where you'd need to make a phone call or tee something up online to get a contact. Unless you're right at the top of the solar cycle, there's not a lot of 6 meter CW activity. Even during the summer sporadic E season, most people are using either SSB or digital modes. So 6 meters CW is rarely heard. Although this was billed as a beginner's project, I would think that calling randomly on 6 meters CW is unlikely to give anything but disappointment. So I thought I'd make this a little bit more useful. I kept the transmitter in situ, but ripped out the receiving converter and the control board. That had a relay and a couple of transistors, but is not needed for the project I'm about to describe. That project being a beacon. On the right is an Arduino Uno. That has been loaded with the sketch for a CW beacon. It transmits my call sign and grid locator. The only extra piece of hardware required is one transistor, an NPN transistor, in my case a BC548, and a resistor, 1.5K, that connects between the output of the Arduino, it's pin 13, which is the same one that the onboard LED is connected to, and the base of the transistor. The connector of that transistor connects to the keying circuit. In this case, the keying is done by shorting a part of the crystal oscillator circuit to ground. When current is allowed to flow through the transistor's base, that allows current to flow through the collector emitter circuit, thus shorting this part of the circuit to ground. Even though it's keying the oscillator, and it is on VHF, it sounds surprisingly good. So I'll leave it there. For the Arduino code, look at K6HX's website. You can just copy and paste it into your Arduino code editor and for me it worked first time. The key changes I made was to define the speed. I went for 8 words a minute and then right at the bottom put in your call sign. Here in Australia we don't need to sign slash B and I also put in my grid locator and a few other words. If you want you can also change the delay. There is a bit about how the Morse code table works. It's very ingenious and very clever. So clever that I can't understand it. Still it works and it far beats alternatives where you have to make big changes to change the call sign or your text. And on Mark's website there is some other information like if you wanted to get sounds out of it or use it for other applications. But for me the basic circuit was enough just by adding the transistor for the switching. Slightly tidied up, Uno board put in, let's connect it to an antenna 
tell a few people about it and see what reports we get. The antenna I'll use is a G5RV, which works surprisingly well on 6 metres. What signal reports and I'm getting and where is it being received? Keep watching.